no less than China's most famous wheelchair-bound citizen, Deng Pufang, son of former Paramount leader Deng Xiaoping, turned out to cheer on the 547 members of China's biggest ever Paralympic team. Comrades, are you ready? Let me ask you again, are you ready? At the just concluded Olympics, China led the world with 51 gold medals. Will Chinese Paralympic athletes be able to repeat this kind of performance? Chinese wheelchair basketball player Liu Mi Huan downplays her team's chances. We have never played with foreign teams. We started not so long ago. We don't know how we will do. As long as we try our best, it will be okay. She will face competition from Mexican wheelchair basketball player Alma Rodriguez, whose team also will be playing for the gold medal. That's what we hope for. We, 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 we're going to try our best to do our best. For the first time, Paralympic organizers set a gender quota of 35 percent women. As a result, the 2008 Games will see the highest number of physically disabled women athletes ever. Countries like Iran will be fielding a Paralympic team of female athletes for the first time. The Chinese hosts are preparing for more Muslim athletes than at previous Games. Paralympic Village spokeswoman Deng Yaping pointed out that the Games coincide with Ramadan, which began September 2nd. According to the tradition of Ramadan, we will make the necessary adjustments and provide special services for the supper and breakfast during that period. Food is just one of the many specialized concerns of Paralympic athletes. Wesley Worrell is the president of the Paralympic Association of Barbados. He is also a wheelchair racer. He himself is physically ready for the Games, but he also wanted to see the wheelchair repair facilities, just in case he has any mechanical mishaps, too. The Paralympics end September 17th. Stephanie Ho, VOA News, Beijing.